What's up gamers pro here and they are really trying to push the VR backpack craze again. So apparently Zodak, they had came out with a VR backpack and it met a lukewarm approach. Like a lot of people don't want to have a PC on their back and everything. But they're trying it again. They came out with their newer version, uh, the VR 2.0. And it's actually interesting just to read up on what they've done to improve it. Now, you guys take a look at the link from PC Gamer uh, for this article. You can guys can read up some of the details of it. I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the details. But if you want to see the rest of the details they talked about, you guys take a look at the link in the description. But basically, they kind of went back to the drawing board to redesign this. And their whole premise behind this is being able to play VR games on the go with all those heavy wires. Now, some of the uh, details of this of this newer version is it has 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. It's a 240 gig uh, M.2 SATA solid state drive, which is not bad. There's also a 2.5 inch drive bay so you can add more storage plus a 3-in-1 memory card reader. And those are some pretty good little stats. Has a uh, HDMI 2.0 ports and Type C ports and a couple other things. Like I said, if you guys want to read some more of the details, look at the link in the description. And it's kind of interesting. Now, one thing that kind of caught my attention was the battery life on it. Now, they do give you some uh, additional batteries that you could swap out on the fly, but like the average length of it right now is 1.5 to 2 hours of battery life. Which is, I guess, is okay for a PC being on your backpack. And they basically redesigned it where it's more comfortable on your back and everything. Now, will this really just get everybody into carrying their PCs on their back? Probably not. This is for a specific group of people that just want to have something unique or different. Or if you really want to play on the go like that. Most people, they carry their PCs with them. They already carry it in a backpack, but they don't want their backpack to be their PC. So, we'll see how it goes. It is interesting to see it. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's going to just spread off and everybody just start getting PC backpacks. People might, people might not. But right now, I don't think that's going to be the biggest craze everybody wants. Now, they have the battery life that's probably like five, six, maybe eight hours length. Some people might actually consider that. But I know me, I always carry more of the things with my backpack. I always have my camera my controllers and other stuff so my backpack being specifically my pc will probably never happen but it is kind of interesting to see let me know what you guys think would this be something that you'll be interested in if you had the money would this be something you would just try out let me know what you guys think in the comments because like i said this is a pretty unique thing it's a pretty it's pretty cool in my opinion but you know i don't see a lot of people just going out to get this if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We post videos of things going on in the gaming and tech world. Do reviews on some of the latest games. Review tech that's out to help you make sure you're getting the most for your money. We do top 10 of the newest games coming out every month and so much more. Make sure to follow us on our Facebook page and our IG page so you can keep up to date with us. What's going on with us here at the Average Gamer Crew. If you want to reach out to me or the infamous Ty here on the channel. Or if you want to let us know something that's going on in the gaming or tech community. Catch us streaming on Twitch and Mixer. You can catch me on Mixer every Monday and Wednesday and Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. This is Proto, and I'll catch you in the next video.